man, you got a lot going on that I want to really get into because you got a lot going on and it's dope. But it, what I'm building right here, it's just, it's never too many platforms for artists get shine and love. You know what I'm saying? That's like it's, it's, it's never too many platforms. And we, and then, and another thing too, as an artist myself, it's that other layer behind us that people see us making the moves. But even like when I think about you, CEO Joseph, right? Mm-hmm. Right, right. When, yeah. Where were you when you thought, like, where were you when you really knew that? It's one thing to say it and to kind of put it in atmosphere, but where were you when you said, you know what? Nah, I am this. Yeah. I was in my car at like two in the morning when I mm-hmm. decided I wanted to drop out of college. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm on. This is what I'm on now. Like, this is what where pushed you there, though? Um, I knew this is something I'd always want to get into, but I, I went to college for one. You know what I'm saying? My parents had thought like, oh, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's a decision. That's what we want you at, da 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 But really like just going through school and feeling like this isn't enough. Like, you know what mm. I'm saying? I feel like this is slowing up the process. I feel like I could be doing a lot more on my own. And I just felt like it was slowing up the process. So it was really just the buildup of what I felt like was unnecessary information. Mm. Well, uh, where was your major? I was majoring in communications. Okay, okay. Do you still see that kind of play out where you, with your art now in your business, or did you, was it completely just not? I mean, you not, know, freshman year, bro, you do a lot of general, yeah. you do a lot of general ed courses. You know True. What I'm so I wasn't patient enough to stick it out through that. Yeah, so you didn't even really get to that. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, nah, bro, I didn't feel like waiting for that part. But no, nah, I mean, it's, I don't, it's, we in a day of age, man, where it's like, where you really understand that YouTube is a university, right? You got online, so many courses you could take online, so many things, ways you can learn your true task and your true skill online. I mean, you, you producing, was that something just self-taught or like you had to go in and, and kind of read? Yeah, bro, everything, everything I know how to do, bro, is self-taught. Like when it came to making beats and shit, it was yeah. just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the time to get this software. I'm gonna just put the time in to learn it and see what's up with everything until i master it so yeah it Word, what you fun. use i use fl to produce okay okay what's your uh what's your what about your um like your keyboard and your setup of that your you got what kind of machines you have yeah i got a um of course i dj so i got a turntable you know what i'm saying if I okay do something on that um i got a like a 25 key midi keyboard with some drum pads on there nice. so i been busy with that from time to time just a little stuff like that yeah yeah when you um when i listen to pressure makes diamonds mm-hmm. i hear you you know classic sample in there is it is it a sample do you is that kind of going to be your lane or you kind of like how do you how do you kind of feel do you kind of balance it and mix it up what you what you do when it comes to my beats bro i really just um it's really just however i feel you know what I'm certain songs or certain instruments stand out i'll sample them or if it's certain things that are, like certain melodies i want to play out and i'll do it that way it's really just based off of feeling you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't really have a set like lane that I stick with when it comes to that. That's dope. That's dope. Cause you gotta be out the box and you gotta be agile. Which you I mean, obviously agile because you from artist, producer, yeah. you're running <laughs> it, you got the DJ. I, yeah. What the hell, man? Like what like what the <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Like this is, but that's dope, bro. That's dope. You should, people should hear that shit and be like, yo, what the hell? Bro? What are you doing, man? You know what I mean, how do? What kind of role do you see yourself in right now? I mean, you so many different things to look after how do you what what season are you in right now what season am i in yeah i'm really just in the season of mastering all of that because like mm. from the outside looking in it looks like a lot of different things yeah but being that i do all of them now they all kind of play a role for each other and then i'm using them to my benefit because i'm learning how to cross market within all of those things you feel me so if i dj yeah. somewhere i can always play my music you know what I'm all that type Thanks. of thing so i'm really just learning how to master all of them the biggest thing is time management you yeah. know what I'm saying? so i've been working on time management and all of that but yeah that so as far as the season i'm really just in the season of like realizing okay i'm good at all these different things and i'm willing to be consistent with all these different things so i'm in the uh-huh. season of training myself to be consistent you know what i'm saying so i wouldn't mm-hmm. say i'm in a season of specifically focusing on one thing because i'm focusing on a couple different things but i'm in the season of being consistent with the different things that i do yeah which i you you make it sound good you make it sound good I, who keeps you accountable like who, who who's that person to keep you accountable me yeah <laughs> <laughs> well okay that's yeah, dope man. okay so you guys, yeah. so you have a, so you have a, like, you have like a, a, a calendar a schedule that you write out and you say all right this is how it's going okay 
Yes, sir. That's everything, key. everything got to be documented. You know what I'm saying? So I keep yeah. up with it. So all my days got all my days are scheduled. You know what I'm saying? Word. All my days are scheduled. All of that. Word, so, word, word. I feel that. Do you um? I listen. I listen to you and you spitting right. And I've heard you with the flows too. Mm-hmm. But specifically, pressure makes diamonds. You you like you focusing just like spitting that, and you got the flows too harmony. But do you find yourself escaping from your pain in music, or do you like to face your pain in music? Um, it's not necessarily an escape because I don't really run from nothing. I feel like it's just kind of like a. I would say I would say more so facing than anything, just putting yeah. it out there. You know what I'm saying? Just putting it out there because. It's how I do. Nine times out of ten, like I've already dealt with the situation. You know mm. what I'm saying? So like, it's kind of just putting it out there for it really be for for. It's therapeutic. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I was yeah. To answer your question, I would say more so just facing it than anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because once you put it on the pen and pad, like it's dealt with. You know what I'm right. saying? That feeling is that feeling is. I that's all I like. I feel like whenever I write my music, I'm speaking from a higher perspective. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I may not necessarily know the answer to that situation. I may not know how to deal with that situation. I just know how I'm feeling. But I could write something, and by the time I finish the song and go back and listen to it, I'm like, dang, like, this is how I need to deal with this. This is how I need to go about it. You know what I'm saying? So it's really, it comes back full circle to be an inspiration to me and whoever happens to listen to it, hopefully. So, yeah, I would definitely say I'm facing it more than anything because that's how I deal with my situation. Like, if I don't got it figured out yet, the song could just come from the simple feeling. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's dealt with after that point. Facts, facts. You seem, um, well, I mean, you're not even you've seen, but it's in your music and your the way you move, like very spiritual, like in the sense of you listen to your spirit and your soul, right? So, what's that line if you can kind of think of any one of your, it, nothing had to be this song, any song that you heard back or you read back and was like, damn, spirit was speaking to me in that. Mm, okay. Or spirit, every line, bro. <laughs> every, every line, it come from the same place. Like I, I really be in a different zone when I'm writing music. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm, I'm not really the type of artist where I start something and then come back to it a week later. Like a lot of times, like especially Pressure Makes Diamonds, that was like a seven hour process. I made mm-hmm. the beat, I made the beat, wrote the song, and engineered the song within the same like from twelve in the morning to seven in the morning. So like everything just flow so like really bro when i wrote it everything probably like yeah. everything was on that type of time like yeah the spirit speaking right now like just from start to finish especially that song so yeah. i gotta say every bar in that song damn what the hell was you was you just you it, you were determined that night were you going through something you just like i'm gotta like you had to release that get that out bro, yeah yeah i don't know i don't know what it was bro i don't know hold on give me one nah, second nah he's straight gotta get that right yeah somebody was calling me oh no problem but yeah bro um i don't know what it was like i know i wasn't really going through nothing major i feel like yeah it wasn't a specific situation i was going through i feel like i was just for one i had made the beat i had heard a certain sound i was like okay. right, yeah, i want to make this beat you know what i'm saying so i found the sample i found the guitar that i wanted to sample and all of that yeah. and i had made the beat and once i had finished the beat and heard it it's like i got this feeling i was just like right. yo it got a yeah like this this yeah. it just flow from there it just yeah flowed. yeah i see that i see that what you what you um now that you got a you got an album you got a what kind of you got any projects coming this year i do i do i have an okay. album coming out later this year it's gonna drop before the end of the year for sure i haven't announced no dates yet but um yeah pressure makes diamonds is definitely gonna be on the album or, or how many you got the name you want to give out yet or nah oh yeah for <laughs> sure I actually I released the mixtape with the mixtape has the same name as the album. Word, so the okay. It was kind of like the prelude to the album. I dropped the mixtape on July or on July eighth. That was my birthday. Called King, the mixtape. So the album is gonna be called King Volume One. So the King King stands for Killing Inner Negativity Through Growth. Oh, damn! I love that. Sheesh, that's hard. That's hard, Appreciate bro. It, man. That's it. hard. That's hard. Well, oh um, man, salute. I'm pushing. I'm pushing the music. I'm pushing the support. You know, and and you right. You right here in North Carolina. You right there in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's mm-hmm. it's always gonna be love right here. And um, lastly, anything else you want to sh- like shout out real quick or everything that you do and how people can find you. Appreciate it. First off, I can't forget my team. I rock with a team of very dope artists. God flows entertainment. So y'all make sure to follow the whole movement on Instagram. 
God Flows ENT. That's G O D F L O W S E N T. Shout out the whole team, the whole family. Y'all know what's up. We got fashion designers, um, models, actresses, dancers, uh, rappers. You know what I'm saying? It's a very dope collective. So y'all follow us, see what we got going on. Um, I am a DJ. So if you need me to come turn your party up, I DJ and host. Uh, I'm a producer. Um, so if you need beats, I work at OBS Studios. That's actually where I'm at right now. Um, if you need any quality recordings, mix and master, engineering work, we offer podcast time, all that good stuff. Um, I'm an artist, so connect with me as an artist. Uh, I do photography for uh, businesses and models. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm with all of that. Um, I'm an actor, so you want me in a film or something like that? Let's work. I do a little bit of everything, man. I'm just down to work, down to network. And a big shout out to you, bro, for the invite. I'm yes. definitely grateful. This is real dope. And I look forward to getting back on the show whenever you're ready for me, man. Hey, man, let's go. I'm ready for I'm When that album, when the next single comes, when the next album, I need to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, send that link early. <laughs> I got you. And, I, and nah, but for real, we're going to support it, bro. Appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Hold it down. Already, you too. Yeah.